What up, ladies and gentlemen? Let's learn today. Okay, so here we go. So whenever uh, we're talking about today is we're talking about graphing linear inequalities. And I know that sounds like a complicated mess of things to say. Break it down. Graphing means you're putting it on a graph. Linear, <laughs> break it down. Um, linear means it's the equation of a line. And then inequality means that it's not equal. So it's not equal, it's greater than, less than, or greater than, less than, equal to. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this equation is 4x minus y is less than 4. All right, whenever you do this, you can have it in slope intercept form, you can have it in what looks like standard form. It's whatever works best for you. Uh, standard form is really easy, I think, because it's easy to find the x and y intercepts, which makes it easy to graph, okay? So let's look at this problem. So we've got our graph. We've got our x-axis, we've got our y-axis, which looks just like an x-axis the way I wrote it. Okay, so what we wanna do first is, essentially we want to ignore the inequality, okay? Because what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make our line, okay? Which is essentially as if it was an equal sign. You wanna just graph this line. Uh, we call it the boundary line. So it's like, it's the barrier for which this equation kind of bases itself on, all right? I'm saying a lot of words that feel more complicated. You've got to plot that line, and then after that, we'll figure out where to shade, okay? That's the easiest way to describe it. Now, I do want to give you this as a, as a heads up. What? Why's your face look like that? Why are you doing this? Because I got like an F on this test in high school. Basically. Well, you're about to ace this mug, okay? First thing I want to do is just want to plot the line. Easiest way to do it is find the x and y intercepts, okay? Easiest way to find the x and y intercepts, cover up the x, we can find the y intercepts. So we just get y, how do I get y by itself? Divide by negative one, nailed it. So that would show y equals negative four, right? So negative four, I'm gonna put that right there. And then we cover this up, divide four over there, what do you get? x equals I'm pretending this is an equal one. sign. One, very good. So we go over to x equals one. Okay, boom. Now, we found our intercepts, all right? And you could plug zero in there. I just covered it up because it does the same thing. So we plug zero in, it cancels out, plug zero in, it cancels out, and you just pretend like this is equal sign, okay? So, we've got our line. Before you draw your line, you have to figure out if it's gonna be a dotted line or a solid line. Okay? I know it sounds, sounds rough, but it's not, I promise. Watch this. We got greater than, we got less than. We got greater than or equal to, we got less than or equal to. What is that, what's the difference between these two? The equal to. Yeah, the line under, which means equal to. Which means that in the theory of what this number can be, it can be that. So this is solid because it can be on the boundary line. This means it has to be great. So if I said, I'm gonna give you more than 10 bucks, am I gonna give you 10 bucks? Impossible. No, because no. I'm gonna give you more than 10 bucks. Okay, it's, it means it, it's like 10 is our number that we're talking about, but it's not gonna be 10 because I said it's greater than that. So therefore, when it's here, it's either bigger than our line or less than our line. So it's dotted or dashed or whatever you wanna say. Dashed is probably better. Okay, so is this one going to be a dash line or a, dot, or a straight line, solid line? Dashed. Very good. I oh, know, it was really good, you don't have to say it. Okay, now, last step. We have to figure, do we shade here or do we shade here? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's close. We're going to shade one of those to say these are all the possible answers. The easiest way to do this in my opinion, plug in the origin. If it works, shade the side where the origin is. If it doesn't work, shade the other side, okay? You can pick any coordinate you want. We can pick negative four, eight. We could pick seven, negative two. I think it's easiest to plug in the origin because why? <laughs> zero, zero, yeah. So, we'll plug it in. Plug it on, plug it in for x, zero. What am I plugging in for y? Zero. zero. What's four times zero? zero. Well, zero minus zero. zero. Now, we gotta ask ourselves, is that true? Is zero less than four? Yes. Then we shade the side with the origin. You're done. This is like glasses. What? Oh, yeah. 
Spectacles. Get them at Warby Parker, 150. Okay, so, everybody feel good? You're gonna ace it? All right, let's quit. I'm just kidding, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.